Hi, I'm Christoph Eckermann. I'm a physiotherapist at Otto Bock in the Competence Center in Duderstadt. Today, Feridun and I will show you how to take proper care of your residual limb and scar after the amputation. Hello. Depending on your condition, you can do the desensitization exercises three to four times a day for five to ten minutes each. Please start by using a towel to make small motions around your scar. It's important that this isn't painful, even when you gradually increase the pressure later. After a few days, you can increase the pressure somewhat and use a soft brush to make circular movements around your scar and on your scar as well. If this is painful, please reduce the pressure. Very good, Feridun. Thank you. The last step is using a spiky massage ball to make small motions around the scar. This continues to desensitize it. Scar mobilization starts at the same time as scar care. It's very important that the sutures have been pulled from the scar and it is completely healed over. Mobilization aims to promote the movement of the scar and prevent adhesions. Let me show you how. The scar is held firmly on one side and you use the other hand to make circular motions towards the scar. After making around five circular motions in place, you go up and down the whole scar. Another version is to fixate the scar from one side and use your thumb to push the skin towards the scar. Go up and down the whole scar in small steps. If this is painful, you should lower the pressure you are exerting during the movement. Another option is to fixate both ends of the scar and push the skin in opposite directions. Take care that the scar does not split apart during scar mobilization and cause the wound to open up again. Thank you, Feridun. After a while, you can do this exercise yourself three to four times a day for five to ten minutes. All the exercises that we have just shown you are, of course, general suggestions. Please discuss them with your doctor, physiotherapist or hospital personnel as they can best assess your individual situation.